Hey everyone, welcome to Taylor's Tutorials. Uh, my ch this is my channel where I upload weekly videos showing you how to account for your assets. Last week we discussed cash flow and how to address your unique activity. Uh, remember, sometimes activities don't work with cash, so you know, that's okay. Just try something else like yoga pants or sweats, it's fine. Um, but you know, anyway, this week I thought I'd take requests from my followers. I've been getting many people asking me how I keep such a great balance sheet. <laughs> and, you know, though it comes naturally natural to me, I'll show you guys some of the basics. First things first, we need to add to your assets. So, we're just gonna add evenly to your assets as well as the other side of the equation which is the liabilities and owner's equity and we gotta make sure they're properly logged all of the accounts and it's okay to leave some of the spaces spaces empty because you're not using all of them at, all at once so you might use a little bit of cash you know, a little bit of prepaid rent and so forth, but you you might keep some of them empty. But then you can always go back and adjust the accounts, but when you adjust the accounts, you gotta make sure that you also expense. So you gotta make sure you have an even on both sides. That's the most important part. Oh, and I know some of you wanna become professionals out there, but, uh, and you will probably never ever use this after this uh, course, but we're going to brush up on those T accounts as well because you never know when you might need them. You don't want to have to credit your liabilities, you feel me? Okay, so, you know, normally it takes me about five minutes to clean up this whole messy matching principle thing going on here. But I just walked in to my friend Kathy and she matched both my expenses and revenues within the same period. So I'm set and we're just going to leave these two alone. They're on point. All right. So now, next up, it's time to highlight the contra assets. We're going to start highlighting contra assets because you don't want them to be blended, blended in with the other assets because these guys, like, like, huh, what else? Oh, like accumulated depreciation and allowance for doubtful accounts. You don't want to confuse those. Because they have a credit balance, not a debit balance, like the other assets ac accounts. Okay, so those are good. Now, one of the hardest parts is figuring out the line between deferrals. Here, here we go. The line between deferrals and accruals. An accrual is when you record a revenue or expense within the same period oh sorry my bad and accrual is when you oh it's when you record a revenue and expense but have not received cash yet and then deferral is when you have cash but you haven't recorded the revenue or expense see it gets really tricky you see here like look i messed that up already like it's really, really easy to get those two mixed up, and they cannot be even. So safe to say, just use the matching principle. It's a lot easier. And you know, I don't really feel like showing you guys how to attach pieces of a straight line depreciation formula together, because these they can get kind of messy. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of, kind of sticky, but I can at least tell you that you take the cost and you subtract the salvage value and you divide the entire thing by its useful life. So, you know, there you go. And hopefully you'll get a really good product. But if you aren't feeling that too bold or flashy, you can always consider your contingent liabilities. You know, and if so if yours is probable and can be estimated, then, you know, girl, just go for it. Just apply it all over your balance sheet. Go crazy. You know, you gotta work it. It's completely just add all of it on, and you're good. 
um, but if yours is only possible and or cannot be estimated, then just, you know, use, use a softer hand and only add it to the notes. But honey, if yours is remote, don't feel like you need to put anything. Don't put anything on your balance sheet. You are blessed. You are good to go. So, you know, that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys found this tutorial to be helpful. This is was really fun for me. Um, send me pictures of your flawless, beautiful balance sheets and formulas. Uh, you know, click the link in the comment section. You know, follow me. Uh, you know, I have to go study for an accounting exam now, and I have no idea how to do anything in accounting, so wish me luck. Follow me. Thanks, guys.